This sound slide presentation is brought to you by Sergeant Drilling of Aurora, a proud supporter of the Hampton football team. The Hawks picked up their second win in as many weeks Friday afternoon, defeating Elba 55-18 on homecoming. Hampton was able to survive the elements and some rainfall throughout the game to get their second win of the year. After the game, we caught up with Hampton coach Scott Clutie to talk about the victory. Coach, second consecutive win. You guys are getting on a little bit of a roll here. Uh, talk a little bit about today and, and how things unfolded for you. Uh, you know, it all started out with Monday's practice. Um, the morale was different. It, you could just see a little bit difference. And I told them that was the way it was going to be. Um, we keep coming out. i got a great coaching staff, Coach Dozy and Coach Newmeyer. They're always thinking of younger guys, you know, and it's a blessing having those two. Um, they brought a couple more plays in on offense, and um, boys executed. I thought they played better this week. And we need to continue that for our journey to finish this season four and four. Mm -hmm. That's an ideal field conditions out yeah. here. So talk about uh, how you guys dealt with that and, and, and proceeded through the game. You know, when we were in the locker room before we came out, that's why we came out late is just uh, ball security. And we kept talking, putting two hands on it, even if we were pitching. If we had to pitch with two hands just to secure that. And you can see both teams still put the ball on the ground. Um, it's, it's hard. It's muddy and sloppy out here. Um, you know, the kids were sticking their routes. They were digging in and owning the trench up there. Um, for the conditions, I thought they, they played very well. Mm -hmm. um, were you, were you, overall, were you satisfied? I mean, you, you mentioned that you had those a couple of times it was on the ground, but I don't think it was nearly as much as what it could have been. No, it, it, it could have been. A turnovers I could live with. As a, as a coach, are you ever satisfied? Yeah, I doubt it. Right. You know, um, do I see great improvements with these boys? Uh, absolutely. They're growing as a team and a brotherhood. Um, I couldn't be happier for them right now. Mm -hmm. uh, their defensive performance today, what were your thoughts uh, on that side of the ball? Uh, we changed some defensive schemes, different block uh, blitzing schemes. You know, when they kicked into motion, we had an automatic. We blitzed the, the motion man automatically, and then our other backers just bumped with the motion. Um, they played that scheme well. The boys uh, played heads-up football. We had a couple letdowns. You know, we didn't wrap up in the backfield. They got one score off of us there. You know, we had him wrapped up in the backfield three times, and he still scored it through. And even if you got a fast kid running in those conditions, he's got that lead, and he took it to the house, and I took my hats off to him. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Walkner back in some pads this week. I, I know you were hopeful of that from last week. Yeah. Uh, talk about uh, what that meant for you. You know, he, he's been cleared, and he's a great kid. He's got a, a good head for the game. And just having those those guys there, you know, they've been playing since junior high together. Um is just a whole different morale, you know. So it's good to have him out there, and he'll be in the mix of it more next week because he made it through the game without any problems. So I'm uh, looking forward to having him healthy here. Mm -hmm.